Hey guys, it's Sam for Rhizom Lab, and in this Rhizom UV quick tip, we're going to be looking at negative scale geometry. Now, this is something that's come up in our Discord quite often, so let's go have a look at what the problem is and how we can solve it. Okay, so here I am in Cinema 4D, but don't panic if you're not a Cinema 4D user, this does apply to all 3D applications. So in this scene, we've got three spheres. They all seemingly look the same. So let's get these out to Ryzen UV and actually see what the problem is. So I'm going to select all of them in the object manager and I'm using the Ryzen UV bridge to teleport them over to Ryzen UV. So here they are in Ryzen UV and already you can see that there's an issue. So what I'm going to do is just optimize so we don't get any of the stretching on this one and pack. And in the UV space, things look seemingly normal. But in the 3D space, we've got a bit of an issue. These two spheres look as they should. And this third sphere is blue. Now, in Ryzen UV, if you've got a blue color on an island in this view or the 3D view, that actually indicates that you're looking at the back side of a polygon. So at this stage, you'll be thinking, oh, my polygon normals are facing the wrong direction. Let's go back to our 3D program and fix that. So let's close Ryzen UV. And now we're back in our 3D application. We can choose the problem object, which is this one here. Go into polygon mode and press Control A to select all the polygons. Now in Cinema 4D, an orange color will represent a front facing polygon normal. And if we zoom in a little bit and have a look at the backside, much like Ryzen UV, the backside of a polygon is colored blue. So it's probably around this point that you're thinking, well, what the hell is going on then? My polygon normals are facing the correct direction for this object, but in Ryzen UV, I'm being told that they're not. And this is what I'm talking about when I say negative scale geometry. So let's get out of polygon mode and go back to our model mode and have a look at this first sphere. At the bottom here, you can see we've got size, and you can see that it's 200 centimeters in the X, Y, Z directions. But size and scale are not the same thing. If we have a look in our object's attributes here, you can see P for position, S for scale, and R for rotation. And if we have a look in the scale, we can see that everything is one. Now, that might be a little confusing because when you choose the scale tool here, and I scale up and down, uh, let's just get back to our attributes and we'll lock this so we can remain here. So we've got the scale tool selected. Now, if I scale this object, you can see that the size down here is changing. But the scale of the object isn't. And that's because the scale tool is actually a size tool. But everyone's familiar with the term scale. Now, this object scale should always be one, in my opinion, because not only do you get problems like this, uh, that we're going over now, but you also get problems. If I was to scale this object, say in the X direction down to 0.5 or something, and then make another object a child of this object, when you rotated the parent object, you'd see some funky things going on as well. So this typically should be left at one in the X, Y, Z direction. So let's go have a look at our third problem object. And you can see that its size is 200 centimeters in the X, Y, Z. But if we look at the scale property of this, we can see that in the X direction, it's actually minus one. And this is why when we go into polygon mode and actually select all our polys, our polynormals are facing the right direction. But because this X size is a negative scale, when we uh, send this to Ryzen UV, it appears as if this has flipped normals. So let's put this back to one. So that's as it should be. And let's select all three of these and re-export to Ryzen UV. Now we can see all is right in the world and this object has the correct facing normal directions. So if you ever bring a model into Ryzen UV and half of it is blue and you don't know why and the normal direction appears to be correct, it's almost a certainty that some of your model objects will have a negative scale and you need to check for that and correct it. I hope this was helpful guys, I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can also check out the videos on screen now and also don't forget to visit us at our website and our social media. Cheers guys!
Bye.